Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find dog beds made in the USA. Dogs typically sleep anywhere from 12 to 14 hours a day, so you want to make sure that they're sleeping on something not only comfortable, but that it's durable, and it's also made with safe materials. And there's a big difference between the materials for dog beds that are made in China and other countries, and the beds that are made in the USA. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to find dog beds that are made in the USA, my top picks for American-made dog beds, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be answering some frequently asked questions. I've also written about this exact same topic before, so check in the description below for a link to that article, or you can just Google All American Reviews Best Dog Beds. And if you're passionate about buying American-made products, give this video a like. Remember to subscribe to our channel then head over to allamericanreviews.com that you'll find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American made. All right, let's get into today's video on how to find dog beds made in the USA. First up, let's cover how to spot which dog beds are made in the USA. Now, while a dog lover, I am certainly not a licensed veterinarian or expert, so if you have a specific question about your dog, I definitely recommend contacting your veterinarian. But I did talk to Dr. Erica Irish, who is a doctor of veterinary medicine at an animal hospital in Florida, so I'm going to be sharing some of her awesome tips on how to find great dog beds throughout the video, as well as some of my tips on how to find American-made materials. Dr. Irish is also on the board of advisors at betterpet.com, a great resource for pet owners that y'all should definitely check out. They have a lot of awesome, helpful content and some pretty cool tools on the site as well. I really like their pet product recall tool, which will give you historical information on pet product recalls, and you can sign up for email alerts. So definitely check out betterpet.com. So, despite all these certifications, labels, and adjectives that companies put on their dog beds, they really aren't all that complicated. It's some sort of fabric cover and filling. When it comes to the fabric cover, that is most likely going to be made from a material like nylon or canvas, so just make sure to find out where they are sourcing that fabric from. When we talked to Dr. Irish about cover materials, she recommended something that is durable, waterproof and without all the frills, literally and figuratively. Dogs obviously love chewing on just about everything in sight, so make sure to avoid the fabric covers that have a bunch of stuff hanging around the edges as it can be a choking hazard. That also includes faux fur, which can be difficult to clean as well. I'd also recommend nylon over canvas just because it's going to be more durable and waterproof, but in general, just look for a fabric cover that is going to be tough and chewproof. Now let's talk about filling. Most dog beds are going to be filled with either foam, polyester fiber fill, or some sort of wool or organic cotton inside the cover. We've talked about cotton sourcing before in some previous videos, so I won't touch on it too much here. There's a lot of good local options for sourcing cotton. I want to spend some time talking about polyester fiber fill as well as the polyurethane foam. Uh, that is often used inside dog beds that you definitely want to make sure that you do your research on. Starting with foam, this is a popular fill material, especially memory foam for your more larger plush dog beds, which you'll often see described as orthopedic, which according to Dr. Irish really doesn't mean a whole lot outside of the fact that it has extra padding. However, when it comes to sourcing, the country of origin for your foam matters a lot. There simply aren't the same manufacturing standards and safety regulations in China and other countries as there are in the US for polyurethane foam. In recent studies, nonprofits like the Ecology Center found toxic chemicals like lead, arsenic, and mercury in the dog beds originating from China that they sampled. In the US, we have the ASTM and certain certifications like CertiPure US that ensure consistent quality and safety in the foam that we're putting in our products. While a lot of certifications that you see around dog beds really don't mean a whole lot, this one in my opinion means a lot. I mentioned polyester fiber fill earlier as well. Definitely watch out for these same concerns for that material. And in general, I just don't think it's a great fill material for dog beds. 
Dr. Irish recommended looking for beds that are durable and can hold their form over time. And in my opinion, polyester fiber fill goes flat super easily and just really isn't going to hold the test of time like foam and some other materials inside your dog bed. And of course, as you all know, if you've watched some of my previous videos, we also have some U.S. legislation on our side to tell us the country of origin for imported products, which is Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the U.S. Code. So the country of origin should be slapped on the side of the product or packaging if you're looking at it in store. That is not applied to online shopping and marketing materials. So if you're unsure, just give the brand a call or head over to All American Reviews and see if we've done the research for you. A few tips from Dr. Irish on finding a solid dog bed before we get into my top picks. First, remember that foam sleeps hot, and so don't be surprised when, after getting back from a long walk, your dog just wants to stretch out on the cold tile floor. So if you're looking for something with a little more breathability, look for a gel cooling layer in some of those foam beds or something that is raised so air can get underneath it and provide some more breathability. Second, remember to get the right size dog bed for your pup. You don't want their butt hanging off the end of the bed and you want them to be able to stretch out. Third, when it comes to bolsters and headrests, it really depends on your dog's preferences as to whether or not it's a good option. And finally, just remember to keep it simple. Dogs aren't picky, so as long as you're finding something with safe materials that is durable, waterproof, the right size, and with the right amount of cushion, you should be all set. All right, now that we've covered some tips on how to find dog beds made in the USA, let's get into my top picks for American-made dog beds. Now, there are a lot of great dog beds made in the USA and more than I have time to cover in today's video. So for all of our research on dog beds, make sure to head over to All American Reviews, which I will link to in the description below. Or like I said earlier, you can just Google All American Reviews Best Dog Beds and you should see us there. And make sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you just wanna give a shout out to your favorite American made dog beds. First up is Big Barker. Big Barker got started in 2012 and has a keen focus on American manufacturing. As you may have guessed, their dog beds are made for some big dogs and are actually made by expert furniture craftsmen in Delaware and Pennsylvania. They have a great selection of plush dog beds, including ones with that bolster or headrest if your pup likes that. They do a great job of relieving pressure points and all the foam that they use is sort of pure US certified. Next is Dog Bag King. These beds have the classic oval shape with walls that help give your pup a snug place to rest their head. Dog Bag King beds come in three different sizes, although I think these beds work particularly well for smaller dogs just because the padding on the bottom really isn't sufficient enough for larger dogs, especially if they have joint issues. Next is Buddy Rest. Buddy Rest is based in Kansas and makes a wide variety of dog beds, including a lot of options that are recommended by vets. They also have some great chew-proof dog beds made with a tough Kevlar fabric or Titan ballistic fabric, so if your dog's a chewer, definitely check them out. Next is Westpaw. Westpaw is handcrafting all of their dog beds at their headquarters in Bozeman, Montana. Their heyday bed has a pretty low profile and is made with what's called IntelliLoft stuffing, which is basically just recycled plastic bottles that is certified safe by the same organization that handles kids' clothing and other kids' products. And the last brand I'll cover in today's video is Gorilla Dog Beds. Gorilla Dog Beds has a big focus on safety and quality of their materials, and their dog beds are some of the toughest that I've ever seen. They use military grade materials and triple stitching on a lot of their dog beds. So if your dog is a chewer, definitely check them out. They have a lot of different options, everything from your big plush dog beds to something for your dog's crate. So Gorilla Dog Beds, great option. Now let's get to some frequently asked questions. First up, are Pet Fusion dog beds made in the USA? And the answer is no, Pet Fusion dog beds are made in China. You'll see their name thrown around a lot on lists of top dog beds, so just make sure to watch out for them. Next, are Canine Ballistics dog beds made in the USA? And the answer is only some of their dog beds are made domestically. If you do choose to go with Canine Ballistics, definitely check for their nesting and orthopedic lines of dog beds, which are made in the USA. Stuff like their crate pads, their den dog beds, and their chew-proof dog beds are not made in the USA. And lastly, are Fur Haven dog beds made in the USA? And the answer is not 100%. Fur Haven has some imported materials for their dog beds. Their foam is manufactured here, but they actually import all of their fabric covers from China. 
All right, that's it for today's video on how to find dog beds made in the USA. If you all have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews and we'll find out for you and write something up. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See you all next time.